What do you think about that one? It's actually really good. Who knew? Well, you guys knew. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Amir. And this is my friend Connie. So we are doing a vlog today and what we're going to do is we're going to take Kony out for a, some saffron ice cream and some carrot juice. Now you guys have never had this combination before and you've never ever had it anywhere else and neither has she. Nope. But uh, we're going to go and we're going to go check it out right now. Let's go grab it. So. All right, guys, this conco heavenly concoction of pure bliss Thank you is very much. ready for you. I'm not sure if I'm excited or scared. That's the show my back. Merci. Merci, ma'am. That's the show my back. Okay, so let me give you guys a little run of, run through about what this is and why it's so damn good. <laughs> so Americans generally have ice cream floats, right? Or root beer floats, okay, yeah. right? We have soda and we put ice cream in it. Which That's is pretty, also quite crazy. It's delicious and it is incredibly delicious and incredibly fattening, but <laughs> incredibly addicting. We have something much better. What we try to do is we get something healthy, like carrot juice. Now carrot juice has vitamin, a lot of vitamin C if I'm not, no, 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 vitamin E or D. It has one of these vitamins that specifically requires fatty agents to be digested. So, and I actually found this out quite recently after eating this for a very long time and not knowing exactly why they combine these two flavors. Um, so they kind of just like help each other basically get the best parts of both because the ice cream is actually not just ice cream it has this very ancient uh, kind of a root called a salab and salab is basically what they used to make ice cream out of with instead of like you know the cream and the sugar and the other stuff that they put into regular ice cream with this it was just salab and cream and that's it so So, the cool part, now how to eat it. This yeah, is... I am afraid to touch it. <laughs> so, this is a drink that you can enjoy in three different ways. You can enjoy the carrot juice on its own. There's a spoon so you can take bits of ice cream on its own. Or you can wait for it to melt and it blends together. Oh. So this is the rare drink that gets even better as it gets like more molten basically. Like ice cream never gets good when it melts, but this shit does. We have a nice, um, gorgeous view of the Zion River. You have to, you have to drink a little bit of the carrot juice. Okay. If you didn't add any sugar to it, most of the time, the carrot, because it's like a nice, like well-developed carrot, it's not like watered down. You don't put them in water. The carrot is really sweet on its own. Yep. So okay. far, so good. So far, so good. And then there's a the saffron ice cream at the bottom or on top. It depends on which shop you go to. But they usually mix it together. And you know, these, these, these little white things right here, these are cream, these are specks of cream. And the saffron ice cream is in the middle right here. So it's not ruined, it's not gone bad. Those are just bits of cream. Okay, have a spoon. Yeah, you have a spoon. See, there it is. It's just submerged. You have to find it, you have to dig for the spoon. Nobody would expect this concoction to taste nearly as good as it does. I mean, nobody really likes carrot juice to begin with, but this thing puts carrot juice on the map. The whole world needs to know about the magic, which is carrot juice and ice cream. You guys are like, you guys have no idea how free you guys are because everybody's like, Oh, welcome to our country. You don't have a job. Don't worry about it. Oh, you were doing this and that. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't do it again. Okay. You really can get away with everything. I think uh, as, a, as a traveler, you do need to be respectful with the country you're traveling to. So uh, 
I put it on like really nice and tight when I arrived and then I realized that well, most women here are not wearing it like that so I got it a bit looser um, but yeah it's important I think to respect culture, tradition, religion, whatever it is um, in, in every place you go and also it's really well good to sort of blend in I mean sure you don't look like you're from here you don't speak the language but still learn a few words try to talk to the locals even if you don't speak English they will really really try to talk to you they will make you I don't know feel part of their culture just try to blend in try to to respect wherever you go I mean not only for Uganda that applies to everywhere just be respectful and and I think well that, spoken yeah that really goes a long way mm -hmm. and uh, then again try to learn a few words that helps so much I'm salam and mercy guys salam <laughs> and mercy and it's so easy uh, just add a few more and people are going to be so grateful if you leave a place and you say hodahafes instead of saying goodbye people are so impressed mm -hmm. like they they really feel like oh that that's so cool she's making an effort you know exactly uh, and that opens so many doors so yeah just a few words uh, and you will feel like home cheers I mean, it's empty, but you know, <laughs> the, the, that's the thought that counts. Is that good? Yes. Thank you so much, Kony, for your time. And again, welcome to Iran. Thank you very <laughs> much. Hope to see you all in Iran. Yes. Bye. Bye.